Aunque pareciera un sueño propiamente de los niños ir al espacio, es algo que siempre inquietó a la soprano Sarah Brightman, quien pagó alrededor de 250 millones de pesos para subir en un cohete ruso a la Estación Espacial Internacional en el 2015 y convertirse así en la primera cantante en grabar un disco desde el espacio. It really emanates from a dream I had from a child growing up in the 60s and seeing the first man land on the moon. And, and sublimely that has followed me in my life until I was able to, to take a journey like this. And I've always been interested in aviation as well. My father flew light aircraft. His, my uncle did, my sister did, I learned to fly when I was younger and uh, in fact did a, a training in uh, um, Harrier jump jets back in the 80s. Durante su visita a México, la cantante británica explicó que se ha sometido a una serie de exámenes físicos muy meticulosos para asegurar que Brightman se encuentre en condiciones aptas para viajar al espacio y poder transmitir su aprendizaje a la juventud como buena embajadora de la UNESCO que es. La idea de una jornada y de mirar el planeta desde esa perspectiva, si alguien quiere vivir vicariamente por mí y escuchar lo que tengo que decir, voy a estar presenciando... Uh, you know, go, uh, the planet going round it 16 times a day and actually witnessing areas of deforestation, of areas of plastic in the ocean, you know, obviously depending on trajectory and, and, and what is happening with the clouds. And, and will you sing there? I'll try. Oh. <laughs> I'm told it's absolutely possible. They have a couple of musical instruments up there. But I, I don't, uh, so far, I don't think a, a professional singer has been up there. So it will be fun to actually experience what will happen when I open my lungs. And of course, I would like to connect with other musicians on Earth. Um, maybe concerts that can be set up to bring focus to those areas or could be with children. Pero eso sí, a pesar de que Sarah Brightman llegará hasta donde solo tres mujeres han llegado, por cuestiones de la naturaleza, la cantante aún no ha cruzado la frontera más cercana para cualquier mujer, la maternidad. I tried to be a mother for many, many years and I went through everything that you could possibly do. And although the journey was hard because it wasn't necessarily, po it wasn't net positive at the end in that I didn't end up with a child, what I experienced about learning about women and motherhood and and women from all areas in in this pursuit of mine was incredibly um it was very enriching um and 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 really good good for my soul and my understanding of of human beings Hasta que noticia.